All right, guys, as you can see here, I've got two valves hooked up. Uh, this is the original ProFlow valve here, and this is the new uh, Tile Q valve. This is a pretty common valve. It's used on tons of boosted applications, 50 millimeter. Nothing special about it other than it's got a supercharger uh, rated spring in it. Uh, what I did is uh, hook these both up in uh, unison to this one vacuum uh, pump I've got here because I want to show you the speed difference, and I know a lot of people touted that, oh, the ProFlow valve, it's really fast, and that's why we use it. Uh, despite the massive leak that uh, the butterfly valve in the end here does. We think it's faster, so we use it. It's a good quality piece. You know, this is a really nice aluminum machined part. However, uh, the sealing design of that butterfly valve just isn't going to do it for me. I needed something like the tile valve that has a, a piston plunger um, that's got an O-ring in it. That seals positively. There's absolutely zero leak here. But I just wanted to address the speed issue. I've only got, looks like... 10 inches of vacuum pulled up on this right here on this little mighty vac and i'm going to go ahead and release it just like if you were to uh i guess get into the throttle on your uh, supercharged or boosted application um, both of these valves should close and uh, obviously once you get into boost you no longer create vacuum which hold these open so i'm going to go ahead and press this little lever on the bottom here which should plunge all the vacuum out i'll let you watch it there and here we go and as you can see the tail valve on the side uh left side closed Wicked fast. Uh, however, the uh, the ProFlow valve did not. So now at zero uh, zero vacuum, which means I'd be under boost right now, under load, and the valve on the left hand side, which is not the ProFlow valve, closed faster.